does a child have to have a high IQ in order to be able to learn several languages at the same time? That is the question I want to try to answer in this short video. What would you say is the one skill that children need to have in order to be successful in whatever they do? It doesn't matter if it's languages or if it's in school or in life. That question is exactly what Angela Lee Duckworth wanted to figure out. And after several years of research, she found out something that is very interesting and that I would like to share with you because I think it has a value for multilingual families. She figure out that it's not the IQ that makes children successful. It's not their social skills. What is the most important skill they have to have is grit. Gritty children become much more successful in whatever they do because they have perseverance. They stay, they work hard in whatever they are doing until they reach what they are looking for. So hard work throughout a long period of time is what makes the difference, is what matters the most. In other words, it's like work ethics, developing work ethics and talent does not make you gritty. As a matter of fact, children sometimes that start off school very easily and are talented or fast in learning, if they do not develop some sort of grit, sometimes kids that had it harder in the beginning uh, surpass them because to be able to be successful also in school, and this I see all the time in school, you need this much intelligence, but this much hard work. So like learning skills is one of the most important things to have. In other words, motivation. It seems like motivation is, is what we teachers and parents should be focusing on to, to get our kids to the next level. And this also applies to languages. How do we develop grit in kids? Carol Wack from Stanford University figured out that a growth mindset is what is needed to become gritty. And that means that children need to internalize the fact that if they fail at something, if they fail at being able to say something in a certain language or not being able to perform well in a language test or whatever, um, it's not primarily because they are not capable of doing it, but it's, it's more an outside factor that is probably um, the one responsible for that. Children need to believe that the ability to learn is not fixed, that it's something that can change um, through their effort. So the more effort they put into something, the, uh, the more likely they are to succeed. And that's a huge, a huge difference so children that believe that they are not good at something, they give up and they are not motivated. So if your children, for example, have the feeling, oh, I cannot speak because I'm not capable of doing that. I'm not intelligent enough. That's the way it is. Then the motivation dies right there and then and there because they don't believe that they are capable of doing it. They don't believe that they have the power to change it. Whereas kids that fail at something, but then realize it's not that I'm not capable of it, but it's more that maybe I didn't learn enough or maybe the strategies that I applied were not the ideal ones. They become gritty and they become motivated to keep on trying because they know that they will be able to reach that point, that successful point at some point in time. And it's not impossible to reach that. And so what does that mean for us parents, multilingual parents? It means that uh, we also need to have this quality, this skill of being gritty. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're teaching your children one, two, three, four, five languages. It's not about will they be able to do it or not? Do they have enough um, IQ? Is their IQ high enough to be able to, to do that or not? It's much more, are we, willing and are we capable of 
of putting in the effort and the time that it requires over a long, per long period of time to get there. What I like to do with children to help them grow this growth mindset is to give them positive reinforcement when they put in the effort. I do not give children positive reinforcement just for being good because talent is something that they didn't work for. They just have it. And so there's no reason for me, out of my perspective, to give them positive reinforcement for something that they didn't work for, right? So when I see a child making an, make an effort, even though they might not be successful yet, and um, that's what I want to reinforce because everything that you reinforce in children, when you give positive feedback for your children, your children want to get that attention, that positive attention from you again, and they will try next time to do the same thing so that they get your attention again. So if you, if you tell your children, look, I see that you're putting a lot of effort into that and I think it's amazing even though it was not perfect this time next time it will work out if you keep on working that hard that type of positive reinforcement is the one that um, supports this growth mindset so yeah, I know this video was a little bit in general it was not just about uh, learning languages but I do believe that in order to be good at developing languages um, we have to see the kids holistically and from different perspectives and talk about different skills that they need to do that and so yeah I hope you like this short video let me know in the comments what you think about having a high IQ and if you believe that that is that matters when it comes to being good at learning languages or not I'm Andrea Bright Moser, this is Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.